Hello, and welcome to Ellen Ruth's Soap. I'm Ellen back here, uh, and I've had a busy day, so we're jumping right into this. Um, today's soap is 100% coconut oil soap, and I will leave the full recipe in the description box below. Uh, I've done previous 100% coconut soaps, and they are so fun. I love them. They really make a great lather, let me tell you. <laughs> so, in this bucket here is 108 ounces of organic virgin coconut oil all melted down here and I'm letting it cool off. I like to do my coconut oil soaps about 80 to 85 degrees. So this is a little warm. I'm at 90 degrees now, but after I get all my additives in here, it should be cool enough to get going. So for the coconut milk, we are going to go, or coconut oil soap, we are going to go all coconut and I am going to be adding this entire can of coconut milk. It's pure coconut milk, no guar gum or additives in there. Uh, it soaps wonderfully. And so because I'm adding this full can, I'm doing a very steep discount on my lye solution over there. Here we go. We're gonna add in the coconut milk straight into my coconut oil. And I'm gonna let that sit there. Uh, I have a little secret sauce blend of fragrant oil today. Um, I had some fruity, this has some banana, some coconut scent, a little orange in there, just sort of tutti fruity. <laughs> so it does have a coconut scent in there also to go along with the coconut. I'm gonna go ahead and add it straight into my oils here because I want it in everything. And I'm probably going to have to change buckets here to a bigger one because this is a large batch for me. But before I do that, I'm just gonna give this a quick pulse here and then I will show you the colors that I'll be doing today. I'm also gonna get my dry ingredients in here, which will be my colloidal oats and kale and clay. I like to add that into my um, coconut oil soap also. All right, so there is my milk in oil. Let me talk about the colors today because this is gonna be tutti frutti. I'm gonna be using Love and Sunshine from Nurture Soap. I'm gonna be using Adobe Orange from Wholesale Supplies Plus and Lime Green Mojito. <laughs> Funny name, but aren't those great together? And if this batter is behaving and being fluid, I will might even do a little bit of this Hollywood pink just to make this so tutti frutti like a you know bag of Skittles or something. <laughs> so let me get my dry ingredients to go in here. So I've got my colloidal oats. This is two tablespoons of colloidal oats two tablespoons of kale and clay, and because we're just going full on coconuts, I am even gonna add some coconut milk powder even on top of the coconut milk, just because I have it and I think it'll be great. So two tablespoons of coconut milk powder. All right, I'm back with a bigger bucket here. <laughs> I just dumped it all in here. So um, this is a one of the keys to doing a coconut oil soap. I keep wanting to say coconut milk, which is in here, but a coconut, 100% coconut oil is a high super fat. Um, I'm doing a 20% super fat on this um, for the volume. So I have 108 ounces of coconut oil. I'm doing 15.8 ounces of lye with uh, Tussa silk fibers, sodium lactate, that's what's going on over here. And then the combination of that was 13.5 ounces of coconut milk in here, and then 16 ounces of distilled water over here. So that's what's going on. It's all written down below. Um, and then on the fragrance, you're just going to need to um, look at the calculator for whatever fragrance you're choosing. Um, those usage rate calculators are fabulous, and I really recommend that you do that because all fragrance oils and essential oils, some of them are different, so you can't just count on it being the same. So the 20% super fat coconut oil is traditionally a very cleansing uh, oil and it creates great lather. It's a hard bar of soap and it can be a little drying if it is a dominant oil in your soap. Well, to combat that, you add 
5% super fat, and this is not a drying bar anymore because coconut oil is great. I know some people that use coconut oil as a moisturizer on their skin and everything. It's a wonderful oil. So at a 20% super fat, this is no longer a drying bar of soap. It's still very hard, it's still very cleansing, but it's not gonna dry your skin out like uh, it would if you just did a regular 5%. So anyway, 20% super fat. I am going to hand stir to emulsion here and then split off for my colors because the fragrance is already in there, that combination. Um, I just want to, you know, make sure I can get all those fun colors in here and swirled in. I'm thinking about doing a hanger swirl, depending if everything's behaving. I'd like to do a drop swirl in the mold and then do a hanger swirl. But you know what? We'll just see. Now it's going to beige up here as the lye reacts with the coconut milk. You get like a caramelizing action going on. I love chemistry and that's what's going on in there. And I'm just going to get to emulsion here and I've got my containers off to the side and then we'll stick blend each individual color if everything's behaving. I do have my wire whisks off to the side. If things look like they're speeding up, I'll throw my whisk in there instead of the stick blender. It's a little slower of a blend. Got to have all my little options open, you know. All right, I think we've got emulsion going here. Looks like a little bit of ricing. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw my stick blender into the big bucket because I just want to make sure that this is blended really well.
and I uh, can't wait to get in here and see what the inside of these look like. Um, that coconut oil, let me tell you, it uh, with the 20% super fat, getting emulsification and getting it stirred in, I had to stick blend this for several minutes straight just to get it to fully, to break all the lye molecules up and get them dispersed throughout all the oil molecules because of the heavy super fat. So be prepared to stick blend. And um, it didn't accelerate with the fragrant blend that I was using. So that was really, you know, helpful. <laughs> so I, I've had this before on uh, coconut oil soaps at cool temperatures, just be prepared to stick blend for a long time. And also I wanted to say that it gets very hot in the mold. Ooh, I can't wait to get in here. Um, this is a nice hard, it's shiny on the sides, unmolds like a breeze. Look at those sharp corners. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Stick blend, oh, heat. So it, these can overheat. Um, so I came down and checked on it and uh, actually took the blanket off of it as it was going through gel phase because it was getting very hot. So that is another thing to be um, cautious of with a coconut oil soap. All right, these colors, <laughs> what a fun combination. All right, I went and put some gloves on because this, um, I was leaving fingerprints on my soap and I don't wanna do that because of the high oil content. It's just shiny and I don't wanna leave any fingerprints. So, let's get this through here and it is hard to cut. It's so hard, which is awesome. All right. I'm gonna cut off my little end piece here and let's get in and see what those swirls were doing. I hope, it was pretty fluid when I poured it and I'm hoping they didn't get too muddied. Oh no, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's a little muddied, but I think it's really pretty. Kind of kaleidoscopy looking. So yeah, a couple of things about coconut oil soap that's gonna be different than um, a regular soap is it, uh, like I said, it gets hot. Um, it's a little shiny right now today and I don't wanna leave any fingerprints, so I've got my gloves on. Um, and it takes a while to fully emulsify because of the high super fat. So as long as you keep those things in mind, it's really fun and it behaves well. These are cool. Just the littlest bit muddied up, but I really like it. You can definitely see the colors. All right. And these are very firm. They are, you know, hard to cut, so you want to cut slow. They're so pretty. It kind of reminds me of like a 60s decor. I don't know. They're, they're cool. And they smell uh, very fruity today. It's, it's good if you're a fruity person. <laughs> it's definitely got, um, I'm thinking about calling these tropical coconut because I definitely pick up the different uh, fruit scents that is, was in the fragrant blend that I did. I did an orange essential oil, some banana fragrance, some coconut blend fragrance. So, and then all the coconut milk in here. So these will need a full cure time. Just because they're rock hard doesn't mean they cure any quicker. So these will sit on the rack for a minimum of four weeks. I like to go six weeks on mine, um, just because that's my preference. So uh, after a nice full cure, these are going to be wonderful. Very um, hard soaps, a good hard finish with a big bubbly lather. I just, there's something really nice about the simplicity of a single oil soap. I think it's great. And of course with the super fatting, this is wonderful. So like um, when you make a dish soap bar that I use, a uh, solid dish soap, it's uh, usually high, if not all coconut oil with a 0% super fat, and that's a very cleansing bar. So that 20% is what takes this over the top to become a nice body bar or facial bar. You know, I love it when this happens. Soap patterns. <laughs> 